When we pray for another, we realize that God is right where they are and that God can hear our prayers. There's no distance in God. The power of our prayers is as powerful as if the person is right in front of me. And when we pray, we absolutely know with a positivity that God is responding in a positive way. We don't focus on the negative. We focus on the end of what we want, on the solution. And we know that God is a God of solutions. In Matthew 28, verse 20, it says, Lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. Well, God is with you right where you are. Now, perhaps you are praying for a loved one today and the loved one is far away from you. Or maybe the loved ones are uh, separated uh, by one block or by a world away. And as you do so, you wonder, well, what is my power that I have in prayer? Well, you have great power because you're connecting with God and you are connecting them with a, a powerful force of good and of healing and of guidance and of prosperity that can come in their lives. You become still and you recognize that you're one with God and they are one with God. And that the love of God comforts and heals any anxiety of separation and distance. That God links us together because we are all immersed in the one God. The wisdom of God will guide each one of us in recognizing our oneness with God and with each other. God's love and wisdom always with us and always available to us, bridging the gap between loved ones and us. And as we pray for loved ones, we are realizing we're doing some of the greatest help that we can do for them. We call forth the love. We call forth the wisdom of God. And we know that God's loving and guiding and protecting presence is with them immediately right now.